Hi y'all, it's Skye and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to another Diamond Art Club sneak peek. So did you guys think that we were done with this for a little while? No, Diamond Art Club is still ready to go. We are having Saturday releases just like normal. I think we even had a Wednesday release. So the Black Friday and Cyber Monday bonanza has not slowed Diamond Art Club down one bit. So I have this kit to show you today and thank you very much Diamond Art Club for sending this to me. Let me show you what it is. This is Tabby Night by Aja Trier or Trier. I hope everyone is freaking out like I have been freaking out about this one. It is so, so pretty. I love this art style. I love this artist. And I love tabby cats, so this all works very well for me. So this is a square drill kit. You can tell that from the blue square here and the blue theming on the box. Then on the back of the box, we have some information about how diamond painting works and the kit contents. And then on the side here, we've got a QR code you can scan for 10% off. And then we have got some plastic overwrap here that I'm going to remove so we can take a look inside the box. Okay, before I tear into this any further, I do want to tell you about the release information. So like I said, this is going to be a Saturday release. So that's going to be tomorrow, December the 3rd. And I believe we're going back to the same times as we've been seeing for months and months. <laughs> that's going to be the 9 a.m. Pacific time or 12 p.m. Eastern time release for Diamond and Ruby level members. And then 30 minutes later will be the general access release. If any of that information is not the same, then I will clarify in the description box below. But I think we're going back to normal at this point. <laughs> All right, let's take a look in this box. Honestly, I feel like this box is very long. And this kit, let's check the dimensions. Normally I do that when we open the box, but it's 65 by 65 centimeters or 25.6 by 25.6 inches. So I kind of thought it would be in a uh, not so large box, but it's, it's very heavy. So let's take a look. We've got the toolkit peeking out and the smaller sticker that I can grab. We're going to take a look at all of this in just a second, but I want to grab this canvas out of the box. It fits in there just perfectly, so that was definitely the right size box. It was just my mind playing tricks on me that it didn't need a box that big. Here is that smaller sticker. So this just has some information about the kit, a small version of the image. So you can peel this off and stick it on the sides or the bottom of your box if that helps you with your storage situation. These are also great to put in a log book. And then we have our tool kit. So this is the newer style tool kit or pretty much the dominant style toolkit now. I think they are mostly integrated into all the kits, but there are still some old styles floating around. But don't worry if your bag doesn't look like this, it's probably just an older style toolkit and you still have everything you need to be able to get started with your kit. But I'm going to show you what's in this one. Okay, here is what was inside that toolkit. So we have got a bag of baggies for kitting up or storage. Then we have got a very sharp pair of tweezers. We've got this because this is a square drill kit. This has the Diamond Art Club branding on there and it is, like I said, very, very sharp. So use this plastic cover for safety. See, I almost poked myself right then. That would have been bad. <laughs> Gotta use that plastic cover. And then we have multi-placers, a seven and a four placer if you like to multi-place. And we've got a diamond painting pin with a grippy or squishy that just slides right over the top there. I have not seen this color yet. I really, really like this icy blue. Now the color may vary, so you may not get this color, but all of the colors are gorgeous, don't worry. And then we have got our red heart wax here in this container with a lid. And we've got a diamond painting tray 
with a stopper just to keep your drills from sliding out when you don't want them to. And then we've got our pretty washi. Oh, I like this pattern. This is cool. And it's very shiny too. I love that. This one's very different from the ones that I've seen before. Super pretty. So a lot of people use washi tape around the edges of their canvas, like along the outside edges, just to keep your hands and your sleeves and the dust and pet hair or whatever, maybe floating around from sticking to that outside edge. You can also use this to section off your canvas, or you can use this for other crafty things. There are many uses for washi tape. Oh my goodness. This is a cover binder, and it is possibly the cutest thing I've ever seen. A little piggy pop. It was too cute. Okay, so what, what you do with this, it has two magnets on the back. You just separate them just like that. You'll put this smaller one underneath your canvas and then pull the plastic cover on your canvas back to where you want to work and then just set this over the top. The magnets will snap together just like that. It'll hold that plastic out of your way and you'll get to look at this cute little piggy. <laughs> These do vary as well, so you may not get a little a little piggy one, but all of the ones I've seen are beautiful. All right, let me tidy up this toolkit and then we will look in this bag and see our canvas. Okay, let's take a look inside this bag. I did not tear it if you are following along with the saga of me tearing that bag every time I open one of these. I did good that time. Oh, the drills are ready to come out. Okay, let's see if we can get it all to come and then we will let the drills come out. Okay. There's the drills and some papers we're gonna look at. Let me grab those. Okay, we'll save that for just a minute. And we will look at this thank you booklet. On the inside here, we've got some QR codes to scan. This one will take you to a video on how to diamond paint. This one will take you to the VIP Facebook group, which I highly, highly recommend. Boy, was that not the most valuable resource up for the Black Friday and Cyber Monday? All of those announcements that this is a wonderful resource. And then we've got a coupon code. And then here on the back, we've got QR codes to take you to the Diamond Art Club app. And then this next sheet here is our sticker sheet. So this one is a bit larger than the other one we looked at. This has the same information, except this one also has a start and end date. So this is really good for a log book if you wanna track your progress. And then there, it's so pretty. A larger version of the image. And then down here we have the dimensions again. And then over here, we can see that we have 42 colors. And how many ABs do we have? So any color code under 150 is an AB. So we can just look right here. We've got four ABs. And we will see what those are later when we're looking at the drills. Also, I wanna let you know that these are individual stickers. So each one of these peels up by itself. You can stick them on the container with the drill color and that will make kitting up a breeze for you. And one more thing before we look at the canvas, I like to show the drills in the packaging because they are beautiful all together like this. Look at those colors. So pretty. Lots of dark colors, but lots of bright pops in there too. And maybe an AB? You think that one's an AB? I think it might be. <laughs> we will look through these one by one in just a minute, but I like to obsess over the whole package first. And I do want to let you know there is a label on this drill packaging so you will be able to match the drills up with the canvas if you do store these two separately. Okay, now let's see the best way to open this up. This is going to be the top. I know I'm going to have to do some camera adjusting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the face. <sighs> Oh, how beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I am so impressed with this. I am so, so, so happy to see how good it turned out. 
Okay, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna roll it backwards. That's just gonna help it lay it a little bit flatter. And it's not gonna hurt it because this is a poured glue canvas. Uh, Diamond Art Club canvases will lay flat on their own if you just let them sit there. But just for the purposes of this video so that we can look at it now, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it. Okay, it's flattened right out and hopefully you can see it a little better. I'm gonna give you an overhead shot in just a minute so you can see it all at once. But first, I wanted to show you a few things about the canvas. So let's look down in this corner. We have got the title, the dimensions, and also we've got our licensing information. So this is just letting you know that the artist has given permission and is being compensated for the use of their work here. And we've also got a legend on this side. And then if I could slide it over, there's a legend also on this side. So you can access that no matter how you turn the canvas. And then down here, you've got some information that'll take you to Diamond Art Club's socials. And then you've also got another coupon code. Okay, now let me get this where you can see the whole thing. I hope that was a much better view for you guys. You can see the whole canvas at once. So the next thing we are gonna do is look at the drills one by one. So I know a lot of people don't really like to listen to that part. So if you're one of those people, I'll have a timestamp down below. You can skip to the next section, which is gonna be where we look at where all the different ABs go. Okay, our first drills are one, two, three, four bags of 310 and also a 120 which is our first AB this nice size bag of this blue so AB stands for Aurora Borealis and these drills just have a special coating on the top that gives these drills a special shine you can see how they're reflecting the light there now this is just a regular drill so you can see that they sparkle and shine quite a bit, but this just has an extra dimension to it. It's so pretty. Then we have one, two, three bags of 938 and two bags of 995. 407 and two bags of 3845. three bags of 803 and two bags of 890, three bags of 820, three bags of 823 and 414, 3755, 129 so this is our second ab this pretty yellow I'm trying to show you how pretty that coating is so nice and then also we have 318 413 911 839 134 so here's our next ab this pretty green oh this is definitely picking up very well you can see that coating there oh that's so nice and then also on the end here we got 162 3857 743 904 two bags of that and 131 so this is our next ab i think this is the one we were able to see when we were looking at them all in the big bag together pretty orange color 3782 8 41 415, 909, 907, 
740, 341, 3823, 632, 3819, 159, 783, 954, and 3865. Okay, that's all of the drills. So if you've skipped to here, then welcome back. We're about to look at where the ABs go, beginning with this blue one, this 120. It is the symbol number one. And I think you guys might expect that it's pretty widely dispersed. I'll give you an idea of the color on the canvas. It's this. It's this color, a very light blue. So of course we're seeing some of it down here at the bottom, but there's quite a bit more of it as you travel in the, the sky area. So it's a lot of it through this area, this lighter area, but there's still gonna be some little pops of it traveling all the way to the top. And then in this little swirly section at the top of the cat's head, there are some of those ABs and there are just some little some little lines, some little pops of it in some places. And then around the moon, there's some more. Some more there close to the top. And then this area is just chock full of little lines, little swirls of that number one symbol. I'm gathering ABs under the canvas here by accident. And it just travels on down and there's a bit more down here. So very widely dispersed all over. And the next AB is the yellow AB, this 129, and it is symbol number two. So again, with this one being very dispersed, there's a lot of yellow on the canvas and in many of those yellow places you're gonna find a b so we can start down here there is some in the grass let me bring it a bit closer so you can kind of have an idea of the color it's just all over so that continues through the grass and I'm checking these <laughs> these little pops down here they don't have that too but these do there's some down here all of this bright yellow through here that is all AB so this is going to be a very bright section and then as we keep going up there's still tons of pops of that AB and then this section here like where the light is hitting the side of our kitty. That is AB, some through there. And then as we keep going up, there's still plenty. Another little pop there and a little pop on the kitty's ear and a good bit in this section. And we have a good bit traveling around this swirl as well. Not so much here by the moon, but there is still a little bit and then a little pop in that corner. And that is another widely dispersed one. Oh, also I did find just a little tiny pop in this eye. Not, not this one, but this one has a little bit of that yellow AB. And then the next one is the orange, this 131. It is the number three symbol. So now we've got to backtrack kind of to those yellow areas because there's a lot of orange in those areas too. So down here, you can see those threes, nice little pops of orange, not tons and tons of it down here. There is tons and tons of it somewhere else. We'll see that in just a second, but it's mostly used as a little bit of highlight, kind of like the two was in this area. There are some nice lines of it right through there and a few more pops. And then on this side, 
the same sort of thing just used as a little bit of accent through here I don't know if you could see that because of the glare I'm sorry and then through here as we move on up there are some more nice pops of that a little bit through here a little bit in that orangey section there a little bit in each eye some at the top but the big section the section that I should probably show you closer so you can see how much is there it's the moon it is orange AB you can see how much of it there is a nice block of it there and that is pretty much all of that AB. So we will move on to the next one, the green. This is the 134. I don't know why it's not focusing every time I try to show you one of these, but we are gonna look at the green AB next. It is the number four symbol. And of course, let's start down here where things are green. So it's going to be, let me find a four so I can put it up close this color. So you can see it's dispersed all through here. This is going to be very shiny. We have seen the two, the three, the one, the four. So every AB is in this section. Let me find some more fours. There we go. And then it's just kind of sprinkled through here. Gets you some nice pops of some green shine. And that is going to continue all the way across this bottom area. A good bit of it there. And carries all the way through to this side. And I don't know, let's check. I see some greens up here by the moon. So let's see if any of these are that four. They are. So we've got all the ABs up here too. So we've got a little bit of that four up here, not tons and tons, not like the three. The three is definitely stealing the show up here. And there's not too much green other than that, the bottom portion and then around the moon area. So that is all of that AB. Okay, I think we have covered the AB placement. So the last thing I want to touch on before we go is the confetti versus color blocking. Now I think you could probably tell that there's not a whole lot of color blocking in this. The only real block is going to be up there around the, the moon area. But there's not that many colors. There's 42 colors. That's not an excessive amount for a Diamond Art Club to use. And you saw that there were there were several bags of the same color for many of the colors. So you know you're probably going to be able to place lots of those in the same area. So like down through here, I know this looks like a whole confetti mess, but you could you could do some nice lines with your multiplacer if you wanted to be using your multiplacer. I mean, there's, there's plenty of places where you could multi-place if that is what you enjoy. It doesn't seem like it's strictly confetti, but you know, it's, it's definitely not color blocking. But I don't think you should be overwhelmed by the confetti because like looking at it from a distance, it does seem like it's just, wow, wow, very confetti-ish. But it's really not so bad. There's plenty, look at those Ks there. Got a lot of that in this area. So I really think, I think this one would work up faster than you might think from a glance. Okay, you guys, that is all from me today. So once again, I want to say thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit. Also want to remind you that it's going to release tomorrow and that is December the 3rd. I do know that we have seen a few other kits from this artist and they've I'm pretty sure all of them have sold out. So definitely, if you got your eye on this one, be ready at the release time because I don't want you to miss out if you're really, really wanting this one. My goodness, is it not just so beautiful? I have a tabby kitty of my own. I am sure she's a bobtail kitty, so the tail doesn't perfectly match her, 
but we're going to dedicate it to her anyway. <laughs> All right, you guys, let me know what you think of this kit down in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video.